The information Iris bestowed as a divine power to block the things we don't like. She looks prettier? Block. She's super rich? Block. She's got a high-flying career? Block. It makes sense for those who lack confidence to act this way, but for a media outlet? It's just hilarious. Code Pink, a US peace organization, delivered a petition with over 3,000 signatures to PBS, asking to stop censoring a documentary called Voices from the Frontline, China's War on Poverty. Instead of giving a response, PBS called the police. US media outlets not only played dumb with China's voices from the frontline, but also with voices from the public. So why was the film taken down anyway? PBS co-produced the film with an American expert on China. Since the production was assisted by Chinese TV station CGTN, US right-wing media The Daily Caller and Fox News labeled it as pro-Beijing propaganda. By pushing to defund PBS, they successfully forced the organization to announce that the film failed to meet its editorial standards. Dude! Believe it or not, CGTN's assistance definitely made the film closer to the truth inside China. Why? For most poor areas, if you're a purely foreign crew, some locals won't even let you in. How's poor? No shooting! No, 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 no! But if you're a state media, they're more than happy to drag you in. <laughs> Just can't believe CGTN's help turned the film into propaganda. Propaganda showing the villagers' shabby living conditions? If you've got no idea what propaganda is, I tell you what. This is the voice of America, the world's best propaganda. A hundred percent, without a doderation. <laughs> As to the alleged violation of editorial standards, if it's these two media companies talking about standards, there is a lot to be said. With their standards, the Daily Caller could amplify conspiracy theories during the presidential elections, run paid for articles on Bitcoin endorsed by a cryptocurrency fraud, broadcast the footage of a vehicle ramming attack by a white supremacist with a background music, move. What kind of media is that? Take a closer look, its founder was Tucker Carlson, now hosting Fox News. Fox News. The one that blamed First Lady Jill Biden for allowing her husband to run for presidency? The one that propagated against vaccination while demanding its staff to go get vaccine passports before entering the office? The one that paid a fortune to cover up its commentator's sex scandals? No wonder China's documentary was not given a pass. It's just too clean and honest to meet their standards.